Hi, welcome back. Hello, professionals and students. Today's topic is a pricing report in S4 HANA. Okay, SG. This is part one. I would like to show you some introduction and after that we will get into the actual details. So if you look at here, all these are the transaction. V slash LA for creation. This is for change and uh, display v slash ld this is one of the key transaction most of the times end users will use uh, to display your pricing condition records information so why we want it you got it out you will have a different key combination for example if you take customer material one key combination you have a base price and you have a discounts for example your company is doing like retail or something like that they might have like you know some 50 to 60 kind of discounts. Probably all those are at a time not operating on the same sales order, but they have different scenarios. Distributor wise, wholesaler wise. And when it comes to manufacturing also, they will have a different kind of discounts and different kind of condition types have. How they can able to remember? They can, it's impossible to remember when validity is going to end out, when uh, what condition record for what. You will have frights and taxes you take anything for that matters, okay? So how can we conclude this? By doing one report, we can display this. This is the advantage with this, okay? So I will show you this one, okay? Before showing this one, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, this is my channel, SAP SD is for HANA coaching or training at your best. Here I'm trying to add some knowledge and very important knowledge till now I have added I'm holding around you know 250 plus videos I think you can subscribe and you can learn that okay so this is my Udemy channel currently I'm holding 2624 students so I'm having different set of courses now some offer is going on otherwise it will have somewhere around varies between 2000 and 1500 something like that most of the times if it is on deal it is uh, 450 to 550 so this is 77 hours course and uh, sap hd pricing concepts this is eight hours i have two courses on pricing recently i have updated this is on the s4 hana advanced pricing concepts and s4 i have intercompany sales and consignment sale and the ecc ecc stock transfer i have one more course on stock transfers on s4 hana 2020 so with the live i have explained and this is for rebates if you are not an introduced to s4 hana it is better to do this course s4 hana here i explained three scenarios and if you are not yet introduced to real time getting master to write a functional specification this course will be continuously get updated so this is 6.5 hours like uh, i have some set of courses probably you can uh, uh, you can find the links below of this video let's get into the our topic quickly okay so let's go to the v slash ld i will show you this part what is the standard actually we are having uh, so let's come here okay slash n v slash ld remember this transaction okay so all transactions are almost similar like this for example if you press all these are the standard reports which are already available if you see this Inco terms with, with scales and without scales, we can control it. One option will be there. I will show you at the time of doing report. And this is for your material prices. Let's go down. Okay. So like, you know, you can able to see conditions by customer. For example, if you take this one. Okay. Execute. So this is uh, sometimes it's a bit slow. No worry. So it is buffering now. Let's try to execute. So you can see this sales organization, distribution channel, customer, whatever the condition types. For example, you can give direct condition type or else you can give these key fields. Okay. So it can be like any one of anyone can be like header field or item field also. Let me try to give sales organization DRT1. Okay. So this is the sales organization I have created for domestic sales. Let's try to execute it. If I have if we have any condition records, you can see this. This is for K0005 material level discount. You can see the amount and the euro. And uh, this is the validity period. For example, like this, uh, I'm frankly telling you in real time, probably you might have find 
minimum 20 to 30 key combinations in a certain uh, client requirement that's why it is very very important sometimes the customer might ask you i will tell you what is the disadvantage and advantage with you once you configured so that can be like you know one of the entry question whether you work it or not okay so we'll see that that one later you try to see k0005 and k0005 you can see this this is the for, for different customers so let's go down you can see this kp000 all these are the pallet discounts it is showing now so when you take at the time of building the report if you take this this is fine let's try to take this condition type for condition type base i'm just kicking clicking for this condition type let's try to execute it okay so for this key combination nothing is available let's try to check something else because all tables will will select the tables at the time of creation we'll try to control it okay let's try to check in code terms you know kf000 uh, kd000 kind of uh, things are there right let's click this see this name if you don't give automatically it will generate name or else you can try to give your own name also no uses for that you can see this in code terms either based on in code term or something like that you can able to get it i don't want to give anything let's try to check for this validity period you can see starting validity okay exceeding interval name above and below will be there that also above and below if you tick that starting date validity date, above also and also you can able to get other condition record for key combination you can see this different options scale quantity additional condition fields and exclusive here you can able to control one more uh, field like you know you will have a validity period right like that we'll have something so let's execute this as of now it is see for freight kf000 this is a uh, one of the practice system okay where we can get it so you can see this so like that you know you can able to get it so i think you got some information around it how to, how to display the uh, what you call the pricing report once it is get created this is called list report so let's try to check something else let's try to check for taxes probably like you know this is the key combination for mws and all so standard they didn't give any name if you want we can give our own naming convention that's not a big deal so this is very very important for uh, end user to know their prices and to change their prices a lot of things will happen so let's execute this so now you can see country condition type okay tax classification all the stuff will be there let's go down will have scale quantity so all these things will be there so let's try to give for d as a departure so let's try to check how many condition records we have we'll get it all our tax records so we can control what we want we don't want it no condition records exist for this selection don't give let's try to execute just like that if any condition records available it can display someone has maintained atx1 they have created i think so you can see there's a tax code and validity period and all these things so this is the basic advantage of uh, your uh, price reports so maybe in second part we will try to check how to create pricing reports so this is v slash ld i will show you one sample report and i will show you this about transactions also okay so so if you'd like to enhance your knowledge probably you can know, you can try all these uh, courses sd and s4 hana i'm providing uh, uh, below of uh, what i would say my video so you can get an opportunity so thank you very much we'll catch up in next session how to create a pricing report uh, report it's very very important share your knowledge and uh, you know uh, what do you call uh, be with me i'll try to give my real time knowledge as much as possible thank you very much more importantly jai hind